you've recently uh, acquired Nordgen. Yes. Um, tell me more about that acquisition, the drivers behind it, and how that improves uh, your your offering to the customers, please. Yeah, so um, when we first started to uh, invest in open banking capabilities, uh, we did so by partnering with others. Um, so you know, there's a lot of providers that have built connectivity with all the banks, um, and we were working through them. Um, and we weren't sure whether we would need to bring that connectivity in-house at any point. Uh, but what we found was that as we were getting deeper and deeper into uh, open banking and enabling use cases via that technology, uh, that we really felt that we needed that more direct connection with the banks. Um, and that's not something which was in our, in our wheelhouse. We hadn't built that capability uh, ourselves. And so uh, Nordigan was a business that we identified as having built a lot of connectivity very quickly uh, and in a really impressive way. And the, the more we got to know the team, the more we got to understand the platform, uh, we felt like it was a really great fit. So for us, the, the core kind of reason we acquired Nordigan was to, to really bring that connectivity in-house uh, and to build on that as a, as a platform for all of our open banking uh, initiatives in the future. So what does that mean? We've heard about the backstory, so let's look forward. What does that mean for Go Cardless um, and your geographical footprint and your product offering? Well, well, for us, our, our vision is about build, building the world's bank payment network, right? And you know, we think that there's this huge opportunity to connect all of these various different banking technologies together that are happening all around the world, and they look and they kind of feel similar, but they actually work quite differently in practice. And bringing them together into a single platform so that you can collect payment or send payment to your customer uh, really easily. Uh, without having to worry about lots of different integrations, lots of different partners. Um, and so, you know, for us, you know, this, this open banking is a key part of that because we think of it as like, what are all the different rails that you could use in order to send or receive money from someone's bank account? Yeah. And, you know, open banking is a really important enabler to opening up some of those other rails, right? So in particular, the faster payment rails uh, that are, have existed in the UK for a long time, but are starting to become a reality in other places as well. So things like RTP in the US, FedNow, which is still not live, but is kind of in the offing. You know, you've got things like the new payment platform in Australia, like all around the world, this is happening. And we think that the combination of open banking and those real-time bank payment systems is gonna be really transformative. And what we're looking at is how do we combine that with our existing direct debit footprint so that we can create all sorts of different types of payment offerings.